hi so today before we actually get into the video just um a disclaimer i really don't feel that good today so i'm sorry if uh, my energy is a little low or if i just like seem like disinterested that's not it at all i just like just don't really feel too good um this is one of those days i think sorry the cat's yelling at me okay but okay to the video oh you're so pretty you want to eat huh Hmm? What are you looking at me like that for? Hmm? Back up! Why are you so close? Back up! Who are you talking to? <laughs> okay, back up, bitch. Come on. Let me cook for you. Let me cook for you. Back up. Good morning, this is a pre-video, uh, Kim. Um, I'm getting ready, I'm cleaning my kitchen real fast because there are dirty dishes and I want to clean this out the way before I start recording so you guys can see it. But I am drinking this and I thought that it was interesting to share it. So I'm drinking water with blueberries in it and then I'm having like infused like sparkling water as the water. Um, and it tastes really, really good. Also, this is a peek of my house. There's Lisa, and I think a cat came upstairs. And this is Camila. Yeah. You're famous now, dude. Oh, I know. Ah, ah, Tifa, no. Hmm, baby. I don't know. Why is that dog coming over to you like she knows you? Better tell her to back her ass up. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Hi. Uh, welcome to part two of my Zodiac series. I'm still in the Sagittarius season. Um, today I'm making an appetizer from, um, I pulled inspiration from the Chronicles of Narnia from our king, Mr. Tomnus. Um, he had boiled eggs and sardines on toast, so I feel like I'm going to make that. No. No, we haven't had a Christmas in a hundred years. And I chose him because um, the Sagittarius, the animal that represents them, is the centaur. And so I was like, what is the most famous centaur that I know personally? Because we're on like first name basis, it's Mr. Tumnus. So I guess last name basis is Mr. Tumnus. So I chose to do his dish. I'm going to be boiling two eggs. I'm giving like the the eggs and the sardines and toast part, I'm giving that to FIFA. And then I'm just giving another separate boiled egg to the ferrets because they need some protein today, or extra protein today. Um, so I'm going to be doing that. I guess I can show them eating that if they're willing to eat in camera. Um, and then I'm going to be making one piece of toast. Um, I'm using this Ezekiel Sprouted Brain Toast because it's like super healthy. It's no preservatives. It's really healthy for dogs. And then the sardines I'm using, um, I might not use all of them. Okay, this. Sorry, the cat's screaming at me. The sardines I'm using is just regular. Yes! Yes, Camila. Come here. Don't you want to scream so loud? Say hi. You okay? The sardines I'm using, I'm just using regular sardines in water. I'm not using oil just to make it healthier since I am feeding this to um, my dog. And also there's so much sodium in this, so I'm not feeding her all of it. I might even feed her half. I just might, I'm just going to use it to just like, I'll figure it out. I'm going to decorate this to make this look really cute. So I'm going to put the eggs to boil now. And yeah, here we go. Okay, first I'm going to preheat the oven to 350. I don't have a toaster, so I'm gonna be breaking the bread for just a short while. Uh, maybe like eight minutes or so, just so it can be crispy. Okay, and while that's preheating, I'm going to fill up my pot with water to boil. This is gonna be such a quick video. It's pretty much like half the um, And so to boil the eggs, oops, I almost cracked them. First I'm going to, I like kind of like drop it in there a little bit because I, I wanna, I'm really bad at um, boiling eggs, so I crack the shell just a little bit, so like I think it boils it faster. And when I drop them in, I like drop it just a little bit, cause like that way the egg cracks, so the heat can get into like the inside of the egg a little bit faster than than normal. I think uh, I don't know how to boil eggs is what I'm essentially saying. So I'm putting it on heat, and then after it starts to like wrap a boil, then I want to turn it on low, and I'm just gonna cover it with the lid, and then let it just keep going. Um, in the meantime, I can try to figure out how to rearrange these sardines because I'm not giving her all of this. Oh, sardines. What is a sardine? Hold on, let's start there. Okay, 
So I'm waiting for everything to like do what it needs to do. Um, so I'm gonna open the sardines now. They look like this. Be careful opening it. There's like so much liquid that comes out. <laughs> Hold on, let me open it over with this thing. So I'm used to tuna fish, like how it's like all like shredded up inside or like chunky inside. These are like solid little like pieces of fish. So maybe I can just use like one piece. Okay. Oh, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take the pieces and I'm gonna arrange it into the Sagittarius sign. Oh. That's so creative. I'm such a genius. I'm gonna re I'm gonna arrange it into the Sagittarius sign, and it's gonna look so cute. The only issue is that my uh, canvas isn't that big, so how am I gonna put the boiled egg? I want to make this look really nice. I know I am. I believe in myself, and I can do it. Okay. Let's. Okay. I'm looking forward to what I come up with. Okay. Okay. This is eight minutes later. Eight nine minutes later. It's rapid boiling. So now I'm gonna turn this on low. And I'm gonna put a little bit. And I still have um, a little bit of time left for the oven to preheat. Um, it's only at 300 right now. Okay, so the oven is preheated. This is the one <laughs> photogenic piece of Ezekiel bread I'm giving to my dog. Um, I'm gonna put it in there for about 10 minutes. The lid's on the eggs, so everything's gonna be boiling. All right, let's try. You are so loud. No, don't run away. You want my attention? You in the video. Yeah. So, this is the one piece of Ezekiel bread I'm going to be baking. The eggs have their lid on them, and so now I'm just going to put this in the oven for like maybe eight minutes or so. And then what you're going to see next is the final product with the bread, the sardines, and the egg. Okay. Hi, I know I said I was going to show the assembly next, but like, just take a listen to this ASMR bread crunch right now. This is so satisfying. Okay, anyway, back to our regularly scheduled program. And this is the final product. I made the little Sagittarius symbol out of the sardines. And if you can see, it's got a little better shadow. And then I use the eggs to make two cute little centaur hubs. But this is the next one. Hey, so I'm recording this outro at 6.30 in the morning, so I'm trying to be a little bit quieter so I don't wake up anybody. Um, but anyway, thanks guys so much for watching and for supporting my channel. I'll have the ingredients and step-by-step -step instructions out in a few days, which I'll list on my website. The link is in the description box. Due to the simplicity of the ingredients, you know, being mostly meat and stuff, this is a perfect little snack for meat eaters, dogs, cats, um, etc. As you can see, FIFA chose not to eat the bread, which is fine. <laughs> I'm not taking it personally. But um, without the bread, I could even give the small piece of sardine and egg yolk to my betas. A piece of egg would also be good for bearded dragons, baby axolotls, ferrets, really a bunch of different animals. Next week, I'll have the entree dish, which will be exciting, so please subscribe so you won't miss it. Click here to see what I made last week, and that's it. Thanks guys so much for watching, and bye! Hee <laughs> hee!